A health alert tonight about football and concussions. A new study tracked dozens of children playing football. Those who had more frequent impacts to the head showed signs of damage to brain development after just one season. What's not clear, the long-term effects, whether damage to brain development processes will impact those children later in life. Concussion concerns prompted Gulf Shores High School to invest in helmets that actually measure impact. They just concluded their first season with them. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight in Baldwin County with what they learned. Corey. Greg Kim, the Gulf Shores head football coach, says after just one season with these smart helmets, he can't imagine going back. No matter the level of the game, big hits are a part of football. And when it comes to players taking blows to the head, it's not a matter of if, but when. Knowing the severity is key. For Gulf Shores High School football coaches, these impact monitoring helmets have taken the guesswork off the field. Kids can be very tough and very resilient. And, and for some of them, they probably would have never told us that, that Oh, coach, I have a headache, or, or oh, coach, I, I'm dizzy. Dolphins head football coach Matt Blake says microchips in the heat and motion-activated Rydell helmets send this data in real time to coaches and trainers on the sideline, showing the number and intensity of each hit to every side of a player's head and if it's time to take them off the field. We did not have a single situation where we got one of the high-impact hits alerts that when we went to check the kid, there was not something there. We first caught up with Coach Blake in July, prior to the Dolphins' season. Now, with 10 games in the books, they're using what they've learned to improve player tackling and blocking. I can't imagine going out to practice a single day and not having these capabilities. Studies linking concussions and long-term brain injuries to football have made national headlines across the country. Blake, a football coach for 18 years, says any step to improve player safety is the right one. You form that relationship and that bond with these kids, and I love them just like they're my own. It makes you feel a lot better every day knowing we're doing everything we possibly can to try to make this the safest environment for them. The $17,000 price tag for the helmets was met through donations from players' parents as well as concerned community members. Coach Blake says he intends to buy more helmets in the future if money becomes available. In the newsroom, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15.